Hello, hi you guys, hi Kuris, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi Makanksha. So in today's video, you read the title or not? You're going to do a full face of makeup under rupees 500, not like all 500, but like you know, each product is under 500. Like, you can, you get it right. I know you guys have been requesting for like an affordable option video since a long. I know it's been a while I've done that. So here are my favorites. I don't think I've spoken about them uh, much anywhere. So I thought like this is the time and. I don't know like you know for kids like when they see something they get distracted right so my dress has this and I'm like every time I'm doing this I'm like okay anyway coming back to the topic I feel too hard but <laughs> see this is what I tell you rewind so in this video I'm going to do a full face of makeup under rupees 500 let's get started I'm going to do a voiceover because I want this video to be more about like the products than me talking so I'm just going to apply and talk you through the products and why I like them so let's get started Okay, we are starting off with foundation and fun foundation and fun 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 for foundation I'm going in with the Lakme and Primer Plus Matte Foundation. It's actually a really good one but the thing is I don't have my shade in it so I kind of mix these two shades which is Warm Caramel and Neutral Honey and I get my perfect shade. I just apply it all over. I layer it twice on the area where I have a little bit of pigmentation but it layers beautifully and you can see how it looks on my skin. Then next I'm going in with my concealer which is my absolute favorite I inside cosmetics HD concealer I love this I have a shade MN20 uh, but I still do think it's a little dark the only con about this concealer is that it does oxidize I had MN30 first and I thought it's too dark I got MN20 and now it oxidizes and come to my like equal skin shades I want to go maybe I'll shade lighter for highlighting but irrespective it performs so beautifully but I don't know why I applied so much like I think influence of a few things on my Instagram if you if you've seen my stories yesterday you know what I mean but the minute I applied I realized I did too much and I was trying to blend out rub everything and do something to like you know cover it and um, I like you know ended up with what you see there that's why I always say less is more you guys like go in with less if you need something then you can always add on to it Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Compact Powder. It's actually a really nice uh, powder. I don't know why nobody talks about it. It's a very nice one. It kind of sets everything in place. Then I went in with my absolute favorite. This is a little over 500, but honestly, it's really nice. I wanted to put this one here. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette, and I really like it. It blends into the skin really beautifully. I'm here also going on with the lighter side of the palette so that it has bronzer and that lighter shade right so i'm using that lighter under the eye just to brighten it up a little more next for blush i'm going in with the swiss beauty ultra blush palette literally this blush has all the shades you need so sometimes when i don't have the right blush shade for a certain look i always grab this one because i can mix a bunch of shade and get the one i want then i'm just going in with setting spray setting spray is a must it just melts your makeup like in a good way and makes it like look nice and creamy on the skin which i really like uh, so for highlighter i'm going in with the cuffs and lashes cuppy cake highlighter it's actually really nice it gives you a more skin like glow it's not that heavy metallic glittery kind of uh, highlighter it's subtle you can build it up you can play around with it so for beginners it's really nice here i just went in with a powder brush to tone anything which is a little harsh then i went in with the maybelline eyebrow pencil and you know i don't do much before my brows i just fill in the starting to even them out then i went in back with my inside cosmetics concealer to conceal the eyelid now remember this is a full glam i'm not like you know telling this is like a natural soft glam it's a proper full glam which you can even wear to parties um so i am going a little heavy on you know stuff so this here for eyeshadow i'm going in with the same bronzer i used and i basically creating a shadow on my eye then I'm going in with the elf bite size uh, eyeshadow palette and you can see I'm just stamping the color in form of an eyeliner on my, my lids
So then for mascara, I'm actually showing you two because uh, the Essence one is under 500 and I really like it, but it got over. So if I apply it, you can't really see the real essence of it. So I went in with Maybelline, which is again 550, just 50 above 500. And it is really nice. It gives such volume in his lashes, you guys. I love this one. It's a new fine and I really like it. Then for lip liner, I went in with the Essence lip liner, then followed up with a Lacme Absolute Mini Liquid Lipstick and Nude Umbrella. And that is about it. So this is the finished look you guys. I really like how it turned out. This is the look I'll wear anywhere I go. Uh, if you expected a little more glam on the eyes, then apologies. I just wanted it to be easy and simple for a lot of beginners to do as well. So that's the reason I did this. And um, yeah, all the products I used will be linked in the description box. You can definitely check it out. And this video shout out goes to Jesse Samuel. Thank you, Jesse, for always loving and supporting. It absolutely means the world to me. If you want to be part of next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part. I hope you like the video. If if you did enjoy it then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell and i'll see you in my next video bye